Uh, welcome back to PSGL, this round two of Miami. It's going to be a good hot qualifier, short, hopefully to precise and had some good times. Time trial, I was aiming for 127 on the dot. Could have improved to a 126, but ended up getting a 127 on the dot, so we're going to take those. So we're going to have to jump straight into qualifying here, get the setup yeah, on, and get dry, ready. Dry. Cool, beautiful, we love that. As you can hear there, both sessions looking yeah, dry. Sure. We love that, that's what we trained for, and that's what we're practicing. That's kind of hot. Take fuel down. All clear the garage, please. <laughs> Cars ready to leave. There we go. Got the fuel down. We're going to go out on our lap. Let's go see what kind of lap we can put in chat. Should be aiming for somewhere in the 27th. So I think I think we're going to catch traffic. Ideally, with a perfect lap, we should be fighting for the top spot here. Huh? Fastest lap. Right, let's have you in at the end That's not why I asked for you. Twenty-eight point two. One twenty-eight point two. That felt doable to me. Felt like it shouldn't be anything too far out of my reach, as long as I don't mess up this lap. So as we get started on the first lap, we're going to see what the pace is looking like. Can open that DRS heading over the far finish line. Reaching up as a of one thirty kilometers an hour, braking. Going to be missing the apex heading a bit wide, which is unfortunate, which means we're not going to be able to carry as much speed as we want to through these first sections. As you can see, a little hesitant on the accelerator. It's because we went out on an intermediate lap, so we were a bit unwary of the conditions. Could be sweeping it through here, not quite hitting any of the apexes there through that fast first sector. It's the first sector that I really mess up on. Also, missing the apex onto the straight, they're going to be getting a good exit nonetheless. 16 seconds up on Fraser, he's just at a bank of time, that's perfectly fine. We're calculating it around Fraser's time. Should be aiming for around a 128 point. I think 128.9 at that moment in time. If we're the Mick Mouse station, holding it tight, getting on the accelerator early here, using as much curb as we can, bouncing across them more. Could have carried more speed through, but that's fine. Hitting the apex here nicely and making sure we get a good exit. Make down this long back straight, it's important that you carry as much speed as you can. Breaking a bit early due to traffic, going to be getting a wash of dirty air as he spins around. Getting our foot down on the floor as early as possible without making the same mistake, crossing the line, hitting the DRS, and it's going to be a 128.7, not quite the fastest lap I'm going to be. So we're going to be heading out again. It's going to be our final lap of the session due to not being quite in time with everyone. A bit of a weaker start. Not quite getting the power down as early, being a bit tentative. It's only going to be a tenth down. But here we're going to be braking a lot a lot later, but also hitting the apex a lot better. Going to be carrying over a tenth as we go through this corner. As we accelerate out, I'll be more confident on the follow. That's going to be bringing us up to two and a half tenths up on our own time. Braking here, hitting the apex nice and early. Not quite hitting the apex there, which means we're going to ride again. That's unfortunate, but it's fine. Here, braking again, not hitting the apex again. Actually running really wide this time. But it's fine, we got the power down nice and early again, but still going to be losing time to our original lap. As we start this run up to the final line, or up the back straight, sorry, two, three times up. Breaking hard, want to carry as much speed through here as you can, and you do. Same here, you want to just be carrying the speed, not worrying about braking. Accelerating hard. Again, look at this, much more speed carried through, biting them curbs. Breaking here, Red Bull in the way, having a little spin, but it's fine. Gets out of the way nicely, setting a purple middle sector. Storming up the back straight. Gaining time as we go, getting a lot better exit than we did last time. It's going to be six tenths up as we start to break. Okay, gain a whole tenth and just breaking. We run a little bit wide, but that's fine because we get a good exit. And it's going to be seven tenths up as we head towards the line. And that's going to be a 127.996. It's going to be our final lap of the race of the quad. So we come in. It's almost like the best of <laughs> battles the second driver now. I don't mind being the second driver. I'm a good second driver. I let my teammate through twice last week to Lenwood. That's true. I am a team player as we come across the quality time. 
If I held him up, everything would have been very. Teammate P1, Red Bull P2, Alpha P3, P7, Williams P4. With P7, it's not too shabby. Nice. Got some good drivers around us. I so it should be interesting. Time. As we're going to head into the race where it's facing it to be dry. With XIX. XIX for 19. And we look out and we're. Excuse me! What is this? What is what is going on here? Actually, quite shocked about the wet. This was unseen in the uh, plans beforehand. No percentage of rain expected. Hold on, mate. This could be interesting. Could be raising that front wing just to make sure we have the extra grip in the wet. No one was ready for this. It looked dry. Everything was dry. Now it's raining. What is this shit? Not happy with the rain. But hoping that we can just stay clean in the first couple of laps, knowing it's going to go dry. It's going to be testing the grip. Also here, instantly getting our wing down. Getting it back down to where it should be, at 50. Just for the pure reason of we know we're going to go on to dries early. Here, going to be making a silly mistake trying to warm up the rear tyres. As you can see, they're quite cold and straight towards the wall. And then still. Well, it's fine. It's formation lap. Anyway. Who cares? And everyone that is everyone. Just don't do it in the race and that'll be fine. Lighting up nicely on the purple one. Beautiful. So it's going to be five red lights. Slowly taking away. And away we go. Actually, not a bad start. Looks pretty even to everyone around us. Actually, a better start than most of the top three as we switch to the cinematic cab. Going to be diving in here, and you can see a huge mistake by quite a lot of people. And the Red Bull has been turned around. Could be taking advantage of that, trying to get it, stay around the outside of this McLaren. Beautiful. Going to keep it in there. It's going to stay in P5 for now. Everyone's just questioning the level of grip. No one's feeling stable at this moment in time. We're looking the most confident out there on the Inters. Maybe the Alpine ahead of us, but he's just had a little touch with the Ferrari as we go down the inside. He gives us a big squeeze. Wasn't very happy with that one. It's okay. No damage, nothing major. We're just going to try and put wheel to wheel. ERS is deployed. Slide into that slope tree. Pull towards the inside. Brake plate. Pull the inside. Hit the apex nicely. Pull it around the outside. Give him a lot of space as we go around. We're going to be getting quite a tight run into this chicane, so it's quite important that we get a good ex entry. And we're going to slightly clip the wall, but it's fine. Save the drift. Get a little bump from the Alpine from behind, but we're still side by side. And as we go around this corner, I'm going to get a much better exit than the Alpine. I'm going to be pulling away. So, so far, we're in P4 for this race. It's not too bad of a start. Could have been a lot better. Could have been a lot worse. Especially with the unexpected wet weather. As you can see, be very tentative on the brakes. A lot earlier than expected. We're going to be coming across the line, seeing our teammate as a whole. Five seconds ahead of us at this moment in time, due to all the battling. That's okay, we'll skip ahead onto lap three. Still quite getting used to the conditions. The Ferrari runs wide. Get a good run. Try and get the power down nicely. Not even half throttle and the car just drops itself. Heading towards the wall. Let's get another replay of that in cinematic cam. As we head around. As you can see the back end just it just drifts out and just goes. And same for the LP directly behind us as well. So we're going to get passed by quite a few cars here as we're trying to recover the car. Luckily no damage again. And we should hopefully squeeze in here nicely. And we do. Nicely into P11. That's fine. Going to be on the hunt here as Ben tries to get on the inside. He was looking very fast on the intermediate tyres. Give him a squeeze. Go back to the racing line. Should be able to try and hold it around the outside, as which we do. Which has the inside for the next corner. As he's going to take the curb, which is not quite faster. And he's going to be running on that outside line. As I'm going to be holding the inside, deploying the ERS. Making sure we can stay in the head of him. And he's going to be locking up and heading straight over the outside curb. This is going to be us securing this P11 for now. But we want to go on the attack. We know we're faster than most cars here. As Heisto gets a big slap of Oversteer. So we're going to be pushing ourselves, opening the DRS, pulling side by side down this back straight. See what can happen. We're just pushing and we see the gap. We've overtaken them nice and cleanly before the corner, so we're just going to cover them in. Nice and late on the brakes just to make sure we get no dodgy dive bombs or anything. And nice and cleanly through the Mickey Mouse section. 
like it's all about getting a nice smooth flow through here and try to eat as much curb as you can right here which we're going to be able to do and closing quite a lot on the car head as you can see through this section alone closing up two temps three temps four temps and there we go we're on to lap six p9 under a tenth away there's going to be a yellow flag in sector one if someone spun around and there's a yellow flag in sector end of sector one as well and that's going to be a safety car two cars spun around at this point, I'm questioning what to do. We know the weather's going to be cut drying up. So ask the race engineer with this awful sound. We anticipate an end to this rain in around five minutes. Okay, not sure when the dry is four inches or faster. We're right on the crossover. Do I make the call, chat? Do I go for it? Do I make the call? That was the most important decision here now. Do I dive onto the dries as we come around the final corner? Still catching the safety car. And it looks like we are going to be making the call. We are going to be going in this lap. Nice and smoothly into the pits. No reason to worry. No reason to stress. It's just getting in. Breaking nicely. Coming in. Got to make sure we get a good entry. A nice 0 0.4 seconds. Normally what I aim for. That's a beautiful 2.2 second stop here. But as you can see, we're going to get slightly broke by the Alpha, Alpha, Alpha Romeo in front of me. Sorry. And we're going to test these tyres, see how they are. It's feeling a bit dodgy on my way out, but not as bad as I'm on the mediums. But guy, guy ahead of me, and I'm going to go on the hards. As you can see, he's going to have a big snap there. Probably could have passed him. He might have been going a bit too slow, but we're going to be getting on to the end of the safety car. Safety car is now in. So we're going to be pushing on hard. As you can see behind us, we've got an intermediate runner going to be diving into the pits very late. Should have come in during the safety car, but that's unfortunate. It gives us a nice two-second gap to our teammate. Now we're going to be trying to make these tyres last to the end of the race, which is going to be 23 laps on mediums. And with the sound that we sound problems we were dealing with this whole race, concentrations was at a difficult level, I shall say. You cannot hear if the tyres are spinning, if you're losing grip around corners. It's just a whole interesting man. But we're going to try and stick with these guys. Elemental's going to be under pressure from the soft run ahead, he's going to make a huge mistake. He's going to be falling back into the clutches of me and Marcel Lobster. As the, as the soft runner runs away. Elemental Element's going to be making a move here. Going to the inside. On this back straight. And we're going to be breaking as late as possible. Trying to carry as much speed through as possible. Get close up behind the Ferrari. As they go through. Ferrari slow. Squeezes up right behind him. We're going to see what we can pull off down the end of the straight. As you can see from the camera angle. We're right up close behind him. Our teammates following us through as well. So just keep that in mind as we're going to pull out side. We're getting a better run than the Ferrari up the straight. But he's got the ERS, but we're going to slip him behind, get the DRS and uh, Slipstream again. Going to pull out to the outside. We're going to pull this inside line as much as we can. Break later than him. Pull it in. Cover off the apex, and that should be moved. Done. Beautifully in. Now it's time to charge after the hard run ahead of us in the Apple Romeo. He's looking a bit slow. A bit tentative. Struggling a bit. Here we go. On to lap 13. Closing out right behind him now. Got a lot of speed, a lot of overspeed. As you can see, gaining on him quite well here. He has more ERS than us. As you can see, his battery is not blinking, but he's not going to be pushing. But I think as soon as we pass him, he's going to notice, oh, if the ERS is low, we're going to be able to fight this one back. There's going to be a nice move into turn one, loads of space. So it puts us up into P4 for now. Soft runner ahead definitely has to make a stop. I'm going to be trying to push, see if I can make sure that I don't have to make a stop. And we're going to be holding this position into T1. Lovely stuff. Just making sure we push hard. Heading onto the back straight of the same lap, lap 14. Again, ERS levels low. Something I need to improve on definitely is storing up my ERS, making sure I don't use too much of it. Because right now we're feeling very vulnerable. So he's going to be pushing, pushing right to the inside and then hold the outside line. Breaking a lot later so we can carry a lot more speed through. going to be up the inside. He's going to give us a slight bump and break our wing. Let's see how we feel about that. I'll just do that. Someone up your inside and you're going to do that. You fucking asshole. As you can hear, very, very unhappy with that manoeuvre. Let's look at it from a third person point of view. 
It's not going to be the best amber angle, but as you can see, up the inside by easily the nose and front wheel. He's just going to be giving us that bump into the wall. And here we're going to see the camera angle. Half of my front wing stripped off. Nothing too major, but in PSGL there's going to be a lot of pressure. As the soft runner is going to be falling off, Element's going to be going for a run. Squeezing up the inside. And here we're going to try and follow him through as much as we can. Follow him in. Get side by side with the Aston Martin. Coming through this fast right hander, but he's going to have the inside for this corner. So I'm going to break early, let him have it. We know we can make this move. He's on weak tyres. Going to be running a little bit wide and dirtier. That's okay. As long as we make sure we're nice and cosy up behind him, going to be getting a better exit than him. Opening that ERS. Tyres already at 25% from wing. Quite damaged. Even though he has DRS and I have DRS, and I'm out of ERS, we have just have that overspeed with the sound. And we're going to be braking late once again. Doing the same move right around the outside. This time we'll make it stick a lot easier. Now we're going to be fighting Element. See if we can follow him through as much as we can, because at this point our tyres are dropping off. There's no reason. We're going to be getting our first warning. Here we go. Unfortunately, Stelios disconnected. Can get back into the lobby. So he's got his AI. We're just going to be sending out the inside, trying to get the AI out of the way. Because we're busy trying to fight for P2 here. But we're going to be losing so much time behind the AI, we notice there's one second. So we know our teammate behind a lot faster than us. Same as last week. We're just going to let him through as easily as we can. Pull out right to the outside. Let him go. But as you can see, it's a lot tighter this time. We're in a nice three-way battle. So we're going to tuck right in right behind our teammate. Make sure we get that slip through. Go follow him through, and then follow him straight through this corner as well. Hold the outside line, go a little bit wider than him, go deeper, just so we can make sure we hold it as we go through this corner. And there we go, we're going to be defending from Fraser. Again, eating as much curb as I can to make sure I stay close to my teammate. Getting in that DRS. Open up the overtake button. Only for a split second, because I noticed that I should be slightly far enough ahead. Which it looks like we are going to be. He's not making any moves towards the inside. We're going to slightly cover it. But then we're going to start breaking for the corner. He's going to go for a huge dive down the inside. It squeezes us right up to the wall. It was a huge squeeze and a massive dive bomb from Fraser. But fair enough. And then out here we were slowly catching him. But this virtual safety car is going to be deployed. So we're going to try and take advantage whilst the virtual safety car is ending. As you can see, 2.5 seconds down on our Delta. But that's just because we wanted to push up to close to him right here. Which is going to be working. 0 0.6 seconds behind him as we head in. Go through the Mickey Mouse section. He's going to have a big, big slide. So we know he's going to be weak. He knows his tyres are, tires are falling off. As are ours, 40% on the race. But we're going to be staying in that slipstream, pushing ourselves as far as we can. And we know we're going to do exactly the same as him. Go right to the inside. Break. We're not going to squeeze him up. We're actually going to cover the switch back as much as we can. And as we get our foot down, the back end just goes. Slide right into the path of me. Hawks onto our front wing. Very unfortunate the way the physics in this game work. But he just he hooked onto that front wing. Straight into the wall. From his POV... He was right up alongside from my PV, as you can see. I'm ahead, but the tail just goes. And then he just hooks on and slides. Again, he had minimal damage. Same as mine with the wall. Just lost a little bit of front end plate. But as we're coming off the final lap, you can see we're up 65% on our tyres. We've held these through. Coming through the final corners, these tyres are crying right now. But we're going to be pushing along right up to the line. Pushing as much as we can, and there it is. It's going to be a nice P4 as across the line, as we see our teammate. P4, nice baby! Team. Good race. Tight race. Very nice race indeed. And you can see teammates solid, securing P2. Solid race, solid race. And I'm going to be securing P4. Save that. When we need it. Well, thank you for coming right, in, joining me. It's a lovely video. And it's been me. I'm out. Peace.